What's he doing out there? Shh. Go on up there. Go to bed. God almighty, Mom. How long has he been doing Don't this? Don't he hear well, you. what the hell's the matter with him? It'll pass by morning. Well, shouldn't we do anything? My dear, you should do a lot of things. But there's nothing to do, so go to sleep. You too, Hap. She never heard him so loud. Well, come around more often. You'll hear him. Why don't you ever write to me about this, Mom? How would I write to you? The past three months, you've had no address. Well, I, I, I was on the move. But you know I thought about you all the time. You know that, don't you? Mom? I know, dear, I know. But he likes to have a letter. Just to know that there's still a possibility for better things. He's not like this all the time, is he? When you come home, he's always the worst. Why are you so hateful to each other? Why is that? Well, I'm, I'm not hateful, You know, Mom, sooner I... come in the door than you're fighting. I don't know why. I, I mean to change. I'm trying, Mom. You understand? Oh, he admires Pop. If, if you don't have any feelings for him, then you can't have any feelings for me. Sure I can, Mom. No. You can't just come to see me. Because I love him. He's the dearest man in the world to me. And I won't have anyone make him feel unwanted, low and blue. You've got to make up your mind. There's no leeway anymore. Either he's your father, and you pay him that respect, or you're not to come here anymore. I know he's not easy to get along with. Nobody knows that better than me. Hey, hey, Pippo! What the hell's the matter with him? Don't, don't go near him. Stop any... making excuses for him. He always, always wiped the floor with you. Never had an ounce of respect for him. He's you. always had respect for him. What the hell do you know about Just it? don't call him crazy. He's got no character. Charlie wouldn't do this, not in his own house, spewing out that vomit from his mind. Charlie never had a coat with People are worse off than Willie Loman. Believe me, I've seen them. Then make Charlie your father. You can't do that, can you? I don't say he's a great man. Willie Loman never made a lot of money. His name was never in the papers. He's not the finest character that ever was. But he's a human being. And a terrible thing is happening. So attention must be paid. It's not to be allowed to fall into his grave like an old dog. Attention. Attention must finally be paid to such a person. You call him crazy. I, I don't no. Know. A lot of people think he's lost his balance. You don't have to be very smart to know what his trouble is. A man is exhausted. Sure. A small man can be just as exhausted as a great man. He works for a company 36 years this March. Opens up unheard of territories to their trademark. Now in his old age, they take away his salary. I didn't know that, Ma. You never asked, my dear. Now that you get your spending money someplace else, you don't trouble your head with it. But I gave you money last... Last Christmas, $50. To fix the hot water, it costs ninety-seven fifty. For five weeks, he's been on a straight commission. Like a beginner, an unknown. Those ungrateful. Are they any worse than his sons? When he brought them business, when he was young, they were glad to see him. Now his old friends, the old buyers that loved him so, always found some order to hand him in a pinch. They're all dead. Retired. He used to be able to make six or seven calls a day in Boston. Now he takes his valises out of the car, puts them back again, takes them out again, and he's exhausted. Instead of walking, he talks now. He drives 700 miles. When he gets there, no one knows him anymore. No one welcomes him. What goes through a man's mind driving 700 miles home without having earned a cent? Why shouldn't he talk to himself? Why? When he has to go to Charlie and borrow $50 a week and pretend to me that it's his pay? How long? You see what I'm sitting here and waiting for? And you tell me he has no character. A man who never worked a day but for your benefit. When does he get the medal for that? Is this his reward? To turn around at the age of 63 and find his sons who he loved better than his life. One of philandering bums. That's all you are, my baby. And you. What happened to the love you had for him, Biff? You were such pals. How you used to talk to him on the phone every night. How lonely he was till he could get home to you. All right, Mom, all right. I'll live here in my room and I'll get a job. I'll keep away from him, that's all. No, Biff. You can't stay here and fight all the time. He threw me out of this house. Remember that. Well, why did he do that? I never knew why. Because I know he's a fake, and he doesn't want anybody around. Who knows? Why a fake? In what way? What do you mean? Just don't lay it all at my feet. It's between me and him. That's all I've got to say. I'll chip in from now on. He'll settle for half my paycheck. He'll be all right. I'm going to bed. He won't be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hate this city, and I'll stay here. Now, what do you want? He's dying, Biff. Why is he dying? He's been trying to kill himself. How? I live from day to day. What are you talking about? Last month. Oh, boys, it's so hard to say a thing like this. He's only a big, stupid man to you. But I tell you, there's more good in him than in many other people. I was looking for a fuse. The lights blew, and I went down in the cellar, and behind the fuse box, it just happened to fall out. Was a length of rubber pipe, just short. No kidding. There was an attachment on the end of it. I knew right away, and sure enough, on the bottom of the hot water heater, there's a new little nipple on the gas pipe. Oh, that jerk. Did you have it taken off? I, I'm ashamed to. How can I mention it to him? Every day I go down and take away that little rubber pipe, but when he comes home, I put it back again. How can I insult him that way? I don't know what to do. I live from day to day, boys. I tell you, I know every thought of his mind. It sounds so old-fashioned and silly, but he put his whole life into you, and you've turned your backs on him. Biff, I swear to God, Biff, his life is in your hands. How do you like that damn fool? All right, pal, all right. It's all settled now. I, I've been remiss. I know that, Mom. But now I'll stay. I'll, I'll swear to you, I'll apply myself. It, it's just that, Mom, you see... I, I don't fit in business. It, it's not that I won't try. I'll try. I swear I'll make good. Sure you will, Biff. Sure you will. The trouble with you in business was you never tried to please people. Yeah, I know. Like I when know, you worked for Harrison's. Bob Harrison said you were tops. Then you go and do some damn fool thing like whistling whole songs in the elevator like a comedian. Well, so what? I like to whistle sometimes. You don't raise a guy to a responsible job who whistles in the elevator. In a business world, some of them think you're crazy. Screw the business world. They laughed at that for years. You know why? Because we don't belong in this nuthouse of a city. We should be mixing cement on some open plane or, or carpenters. A carpenter's allowed to whistle. <laughs>